Today is February 19th. Um, this is uh, Manly Rose Jr. And we're at the Refuge Fellowship Sanctuary in the office. Um, could you tell me just where where you live and that sort of thing? Just to put it on the record, just your address or something. Okay, I live, um, I live at the parsonage. Oh. It's directly behind the church. Okay. The, is it the white building I saw? When I came in, or no, that's the fellowship hall. Okay. I live directly behind it. Behind that. Uh huh. Okay. I've lived there for three years. Okay. Have you have you been pastor of the church then for three years? I've been pastor for seven years. April the first to be seven years. Wow, that's great. Wow. Well, now I know your grandmother. We were just talking. Your grandmother Myrtle Yeomans. Right. And her, she was a rose before uh -huh. she's married. Okay. Right. What was her husband's name? Donnie Yeomans. Donnie Yeomans. She started this church. Uh-huh. In 1967. Wow. And the house that I'm living in now, which is the parsonage, that was the first church. Oh. Then when they built the new church, they turned it into the parsonage. Okay. okay. Well, if we talk a little about the history of that church, how... How, in your mind, did she come to have the, start the church and build the church and all that sort of thing? She wanted a place um, where other churches and denominations could come together and fellowship mm -hmm. and just form a, a fellowship. And when she started the church, they would have one service a month on a Sunday um, during the evening and they would invite other churches to come and participate in the services and they had people coming from all over the community participating uh -huh. did they have um, did they have a preacher one specific preacher at that time that it started she was the the preacher she was in the beginning she was the pastor for the, I guess, first several years. Then after that, they did have another pastor, um, Perry Guthrie. Okay. He's also from Harkers Island. And uh, your grandmother, she was originally in the Pentecostal church, is that right? Right, that's right. right. Okay. And she played the piano for the Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. I think close to 30 years she was in the church. They, they must have missed, missed her. When, oh, they did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. But she felt yeah. like it was the Lord's will for her to come and, and start mm -hmm. the Fellowship Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, I read, I read her book, and I, it seemed that she she wanted to reach out to more people, would right. you say? Yeah. She, and it seems that she did. Would you say? She did, yes. Uh -huh. um, her work was successful, very much so. It, to me, at the, it seems just quite an undertaking for a, a woman at that time. Well, she suffered um, some persecution because of being a woman. Uh -huh. And perhaps people thought she was maybe stepping out of her boundaries but but she felt like it was the will of God and and God put his approval on what she did so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course people respected her also for what mm -hmm. she did that's unusual even that she preached yeah. Yeah. yeah which she always felt like it was a man's place but when there wasn't a man she was willing to to fill the the place until God would uh, send a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She sounds like quite a leader, really. To me. Well, she yeah. had that um, that ability or, or or charisma to to be a leader. You know. Did the people that came with her came together to build the church and all that? Were they all from the Pentecostal church, or did they come from others? Or I, I know you weren't. You probably weren't around during all that, but they were from the 
Pentecostal church. Uh-huh. Um, actually, it was just her husband, Sister Jenny Jones, which she lives behind the church also, uh-huh. and Brother Johnny Williams, Gaskell, uh-huh. and Sister Maddie Brooks. Okay. So it was just a small group that really... Yeah. Wow. And so, and out of those, um, Maddie Brooks still goes to the church. Uh-huh. And Brother Johnny and oh. Sister Jenny. Oh, they do? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. That's great. They do. That's great. Well, then, were you, um, were you raised up in the, in this church then? All my, all my life I've been coming to this church. Wow. It's the only church I've ever, I guess, known. Yeah. I was four years old when this church was started. Oh, my goodness. And um, I lost my train of thought here. What do you remember your early memories of the church? Is there anything that stands out in your mind? Or or, or was it different than it is now? I'm, not, I'm trying to just kind of get It's a lot different. Is, um, there's more people, of course, now. Mm-hmm. I guess what I remember most was my grandmother, mm-hmm. her playing and singing, and her teaching. Mm-hmm. She was, you know, the, the heart of the church. And I remember that the most, just her and, and how she conducted herself. I know she's ill now, but um, how long she stayed, she continued to go to the, or lead the services till. But she was active. Yeah, active. um, Right up until maybe a year after I'd been preaching. Uh Year and a half then. Mm -hmm. She was taken with her sickness and unable, you know, to participate Mm -hmm. anymore. And that was, you know, seven years ago. Mm-hmm. It must have made her very happy to see you. It did. Age. I think that um, encouraged her to know that, you know, her grandson was would carry on the church. And yeah. I think that meant a lot to her. Yeah. yeah. When when did you know, or when did you feel called to preach? Um, well, I was called ten years prior to um, accepting the call. Oh, my. So I, I guess I kind of ran from it for a while. Oh, yeah. um, perhaps I didn't think I was, you know, capable of doing it and because of the great responsibility. Yeah. And then finally, when I was 25 years old, is when I accepted the call. Wow. Yeah. Had you practiced preaching at all before you began to preach? No, um, I, no. I, just, I, I, um, I did teach a Sunday school class, uh-huh. the young adult class. I did mm-hmm. teach, the, and but that was the only teaching I had. I, I didn't go to any type of school, just um, mm-hmm. studying on my own and, and praying. Right. You know. And the Lord helping me. And you said there was ten years that yeah. you did. Was it sort of a thing in the back of your mind, or that uh, I'm trying to wonder it, how you? It, it was there. It was always there, and you know, and I, I just tried to. Um, Forget it, I guess, and mm-hmm. pretend that it had never happened. Mm-hmm. But the Lord kept dealing with me and mm. for um, several years. I was, I guess, miserable. Mm. You know, running here and there, and, and, and just looking for satisfaction. And, um, and I knew what it was that the Lord wanted me to surrender my life to Him. We had to work for me to do. Wow. And finally, I did. Yeah. Well, I think it's wonderful. 
especially to carry on. Right. She started. And at the time, the church did not have a pastor. Oh, my goodness. Only my grandmother, of course, you know. Yeah. You know. So the church was in in need of a of a pastor. So they had that, the Guthrie, you spoke of Perry? Perry, Perry Guthrie, he was the first, after my grandmother, he was mm-hmm. the first pastor. Mm-hmm. Then he pastored for 10 years, and then her mm-hmm. son, Tommy Yeomans, he was oh, the next oh. pastor, my uncle. Your uncle, oh. Uh-huh. And he pastored for 13 years. Wow. Right. And then, there was one other pastor, he, um, David Moulton, and he only pastored for a year. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I began to pastor. Wow. So we got to be, and also during that time, it grew from once a month to every Sunday. and Yeah. That sort of thing. It grew mm-hmm. that way. And it became a, a regular church, you know. And yeah. well, she didn't intend that, I don't think, in the beginning. Mm. Just a place of fellowship. Mm-hmm. But um, it kept growing. And I mean, that's why it says for all people. So I mean, right. You, that's you exactly know. right. Because I, I meant to ask, maybe it's just, I mean, my own curiosity. That is it. Is it? Do you consider it a Pentecostal church? And since it came from a Pentecostal church, or well, yeah, it, it's doctrine and background is based on the Pentecostal yeah. doctrine. Mm-hmm. But of course all people are invited and, and yeah. welcome, you know. Right. But it is um, founded on that doctrine and, and belief. What, it, what do you think makes this, is, or is that what makes this church different from other churches on our island? Or do you think there's other, anything else that makes it different? What, the all people? Is that what you mean? The the all people, yeah. I think yeah. it's the old people. Oh. <laughs> the all people. All people. Yeah. I yeah. think, um, yeah, it does. And plus, we are the only independent church oh. on Harker's Island also. Right. You all aren't in a conference. Right, no. Oh, I see. So I think mm. that does make a difference there. Well, I've been, just to talk about the church a little bit more, but I I was amazed there were so many young people right. that are here now. And what do you think, or how, how do you think that came about? Or has it, um, I think um, it started when I, I started pastoring, and perhaps because I was young. Uh-huh. See, that there was no young people then. When I started pastoring, it was about 35 people, and um I think me being young, I was able to relate to other young people, and mm. and young people started coming, you know. That's great. That's great. Um, it's the well, I wanted to kind of switch gears and talk about the music. Yeah, I'll stop this. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I wanted to talk a little about music. Um, what, what was it, has it changed from when you first went to the church up till now? Has it changed some? It has, uh-huh. which in the beginning my grandmother played the piano. Uh-huh. And that's the only music they had was the piano. Oh, yeah? When I was in the seventh grade and my cousin was in the sixth grade, I believe, Chris Yeomans. His um, father was Tommy, the preacher at the time. Oh, okay. 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 My uncle. And Chris teaches school over to Smyrna. Oh, okay. Chris Yeomans. We got interested in in music. and um, So he started playing the bass, guitar, and I started playing the drums. And, um, and after learning the two instruments, we then started playing in church. Uh, with grandmother, you know. So then we had a piano and drums and a bass guitar. And I think at the time we were, we were the only church, and probably still, we still are, the only church that had drums. I think Which so. maybe you've I, noticed that. I have. I have seen drums, and I haven't been to every church here yet, but I, don't, I think those things. So, the that, drums will add a lot. Yeah, and that, that was kind of new. And which. Mm-hmm. We feel like there's scripture that's it says it's all right to have drums, praise him on the high symbols, and mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, that kind of added to the music. Yeah. But even now, the music is different. Mm-hmm. Possibly because the musicians are, are young and the style of music is is some, somewhat different. Yeah. But still has the same meaning. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Just different songs. So, mm-hmm. and Do you remember any... Well, I, I was wondering for if... If you had any tapes or anything of your grandmother playing. Uh-huh, I do. Oh, because I loved it. Because um, Maddie Brooks was telling me this morning she was a wonderful piano player. She was. She was one of the best, I think. Mm-hmm. And even today I was trying to get some of them together. Oh, good. Some of her songs and That's good. her playing. Did, did she write songs or did she? No, she yeah. didn't write any songs. Mm-hmm. Did she have some favorite hymns? That yeah, she did. Yeah. And mm-hmm. She didn't... Um, she couldn't read music. She oh. couldn't play by music. She did it all by ear. Oh, goodness. But you could hum a song to her, and, and she'd pick it up. Wow. Yeah. Um, were there any uh, trios or, or singers that through the through the years? That I can tell you the first trio. Okay. Michael Fulcher, he still comes. Mm-hmm. Johnny Gaskell. Does he lead the singing? Uh huh. He leads the singing. Okay. And my grandmother. They were the first trio. My goodness. Yes. And of course, there's been several trios through the years. Mm -hmm. Now, I saw a group um, Sunday night. Now, the first Sunday night I came, there was uh, maybe three. Well, there was a young trio that, and and one's your sister, right? That plays the piano. Okay, that was my sister. Her husband oh. and my wife. Oh, that's your wife. That's my wife. Oh, she could almost be sister with your sister. A lot of people yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Okay. And what, what are their names? What, what's your... My sister what's is named Bonnie. Bonnie. Okay. My wife is Jean. Oh. And Bonnie's husband is Eddie. Eddie. What's and, his last name? Um, okay. Taylor. Taylor. Oh. And they've just really started singing together. And, and they're working on their harmony and learning harmony. But I thought well. they're doing good, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, did, who, there was also an older group that got up. Uh, men, three yes, men? men. That's okay, it. that's the men's trio. Oh, that's okay. my Brother Michael, Brother Johnny again, uh-huh. and Brother Eddie. Oh. They make up the men's oh, trio. Okay. Are there any other groups that sing? Uh, trios or anything? No, that, that's the only that? trios we have. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, good. that's good. And Sister Susie, she sings by herself. I think she sang on Sunday night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Her sister used to um, have a big part to play in our church, Paulette. Uh-huh. And I have some songs of her singing. She's uh-huh. dead. She died um, four years ago. But she was a great singer, real good uh-huh. singer. Yeah, well, Su- Susie, I, I, she's a Rose, right? Is she? She's a, a, diff- she's a Nelson, but a Nelson. she's a, her mother, uh-huh. which I forgot about that. They sing together. You haven't heard her sing. Uh-huh. Pauline. Pauline. That's my grandmother's sister. She comes here. And, and, okay. she, and she was a Rose, so. And that older lady. She's uh-huh. an older lady. She would be sitting to your left. Yes. Okay. That's her. I think I met her. I remember her first time. All right. That's my grandmother's sister also. My goodness. Yeah. And she helps her her um, daughter sing at times. Yeah. Oh. That's amazing. Um, and now the the group, the youth uh-huh. choir, wait, how did that come about? Or, um... About four years ago, three and a half, four years ago, we um, when some of the youth, when our youth started um, building and, and getting more youth in the church, we felt like they ne- they needed to be um, involved mm-hmm. in order to keep them in church. Right. So we, um, my sister and my wife, um, they decided to start a youth choir, and and it went real well and. And the more that would get in church, they would get involved in the, the youth choir there. Mm-hmm. And it's... Are the, all 
those kids in the choir, are they mostly from the island or do they come from down east? Most of them are from the island. Wow. Most of them. Some of them do live on the mainland, but most of them hmm. live here on the island. That's really impressive. Yeah. Now, their their songs, they're, they're more, I almost want to say they have some rock. Yeah, them, it's you know, more of an up-tempo yeah. Yeah, beat and... Yeah. Because that's sort of probably what they're, yeah. you know, and, to and it's today's yeah. music. That's right. You know. That's right. Unless you write your own music, you're mm -hmm. kind of limited what you can yeah. use. We don't really want to sound too rocky, but. No. And, you know, yeah, and you we try not to, but, but it's, you know, it's, I think it's mm -hmm. because we're young and, mm -hmm. and young people need, you know, excitement and enthusiasm. That's right. That's right. Well, we just with the drums and everything, you know, the music to me is is upbeat. And right, lively, right, just right. Throughout. Yeah. I, mean, I like that. <laughs> and I feel like we have a variety. Yeah. Of music, you know, we still have yeah. the the hymns, mm -hmm. you know, for those that that still. Right. Like those. Oh. And I do. Yeah. You know, I do. And. The, the hymns that, well, just about myself is I, I came into listening to church music through I like string band music and yeah. bluegrass and yeah. sort of older and then bluegrass gospel and right. and there's a lot of overlap with what you chose that yeah. I was familiar with. So right. I really like that. Yeah. The um, heavenly sunlight and things like yeah. that I've heard in different places. Right. So it's good. The older. Well, I, don't, I don't know. Things are always when, when you hear something you're familiar with, you, yeah. you like it so much. Right. But this nice. But it seems to be working, you know. Yeah, that's that's right. It really does. It really does. And the the fellow um, he was playing the banjo, and you said he's a youth minister. Uh huh. What? Keith Willis. Keith Willis. Yeah. Which we have three young ministers in our oh. church. Um, Brother Eddie Taylor, Joey Willis, and Keith Willis. Okay. And, um, I usually um, let them minister maybe like at a youth service, mm -hmm. and sometimes on a Wednesday night service. Mm -hmm. The youth service is a Sunday night? No, is no, that's, oh. uh, that's pra youth practice. We have a youth service um, once a month on a Friday night. Oh, that's good. And the young people kind of like conduct the service. Oh, that's you know, good. I just I just sit back and, and they do it all. Are most of the ones in that course are they high school age? Would you say or maybe? Some of them um, are in high school. Uh -huh. Some of them, um, some of those young people are married um, to each other. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah. and then we have some that are still in um, elementary. The age is from 13. It starts at 13 years mm -hmm. of age. And we just kind of let it go. Just go as long as they yeah. want to say, yeah, yeah who needs yeah. to tell right. them not to say. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's great. Well, I was, um, I saw the bus out here. I wondered if, okay. do you travel yes. anywhere? Yes, we travel. Um, to different churches. We've been as far as um, close to Rocky Mount. We've been to Goldsboro. Uh, um, special s singing? Uh -huh. We've been invited to to come and sing, you know, during revival, revivals, or. Mm -hmm. And we have um, conducted the whole service, just a singing service. That was in Wilson. Oh, and, and at Goldsboro, we were invited to um, the camp meeting. Youth group son, yeah, that they enjoy that. Yeah, you know, traveling on the bus and mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. That is really good for them. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's such a that, that age is so touch and go. Right. You know? Yeah, and if we can keep them in church, mm -hmm. you know that will keep them from a lot of trouble. Yeah. We have plans on painting our bus and, and doing some work to it. Oh, great. So we hope to, to do that this spring. Get it looking good and put yeah. a, 
our name on the side of it. Mm -hmm. Well, you sure have a, a workforce here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. I bet. And you have one, one little daughter? Two. Now? Two, you do? I have one four and one nine months. Oh, goodness. The one that's four, her name is Corinna. And the new baby, her name's Rachel. That keep me busy. Too. I'm sure. I'm sure. Which my wife doesn't work, so that helps. Yeah. She's able to stay home with the That's girls. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, just you were saying that you like the hymns. Uh huh. You like so Are there any special ones? I know it's hard to think of titles, but are there well any special ones you particularly My like favorite. Or? My favorite. Well, the All Rugged Cross yeah. would have to be one of my favorite, and Amazing yeah. Grace. I think those two are probably my favorite hymns. Yeah. And I've learned those two on the um, accordion. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You said you just Yeah, just started were playing. Learning. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you hope to play that in service? Yeah. Good. Occasionally I, I do play a little bit mm -hmm. with, with the rest of the group. I just yeah. chord a little bit. It's good practice. Tell tell me who's in the rest of the group. Just because okay. there's so many. I couldn't. My sister plays the piano. On the organ, my wife and Kenneth. Uh -huh. That's Keith's brother. I don't know if you've seen Kenneth. He was sick this Sunday. Uh -huh. But he could have been here the first Sunday you were here. Kind of a tall, tall guy. I do remember. Uh -huh. But he plays the organ also. And my wife, they kind of take turns mm -hmm. and, and switch. Um, Keith plays the banjo. Mm -hmm. Joey plays the bass guitar. Eddie plays the lead guitar. And Dave plays the drums. Yeah. Are they all from the island? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of them from the island. That's great. Do they get together and practice, or do they just? We do at times. We haven't lately, but yeah. but we do at times. If we have choir practice, of course. They'll come to choir yeah. practice. Yeah. 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 We really need to get together more, but it's it's hard to find time. You know. Who chooses the hymns for the? For the service? Yeah. Sometimes I do. Uh -huh. A lot of times they want to ask me, what do you want to sing? But uh -huh. I prefer that, you know, they decide. And sometimes the song leader decides the hymns. Right. And, you know, a lot of times they will ask me and, right. and I'll give my opinion. Right. Yeah. And then the choir, the choir leaders will find music for the choir? A lot of times yeah. my, um, my sister and wife mm -hmm. will choose the songs for the mm -hmm. um, youth choir. Yeah, youth choir. And I um, choose the song, the special song for the um, adult choir. Oh, okay. If they have a special. If they have a... a lot of times I'll choose that. And the adult choir, well, no, they sing, they sing at the beginning of Sunday night, don't they? Uh-huh, yeah, they did. I did, that's right. Yes, I see them both. And then they, they sing Sunday morning, too. Right? They sing Sunday morning, right, uh -huh. and Sunday night. And the youth uh -huh. choir just sings Sunday, Sunday night. night, yeah. And is Wednesday just prayer night? There's not a choir that... No, does... not, no. <sighs> Mostly like a... Testimony service. Yeah. Sometimes I do preach, but most of the time um, a testimony service. We let people testify. That's good. Yeah. Well, I think I'm at the bottom of my list, but maybe is there anything I forgot to ask about or comes to mind? This probably is more than your grandmother ever ever dreamed of. Or I believe it is. And what's sad, um, the sickness she has, she's not really able to, to enjoy it. Mm. And mm -hmm. she's not, she's kind of, she's confined to the, oh, dear. you know, the house. And D does she come to service at all? Maybe once out of the year. Oh, boy. You know. Yeah, so. but, she, but she also was around more when you were beginning to. Oh yeah, so yeah. All that. Right, and which it has grown more than in the past three years, which he wasn't able to be a part of it. You know. uh -huh. But true. I'm sure she she would be uh, she'd be proud. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very strong. That's, that's a good story. You y'all are doing something great. You know, I think the young people, they are the, the highlight.
it says 30 minutes. We just talk 30 minutes. I didn't realize we talked that long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell me again, though, you were saying you were about to say something about I was that. just going to say, it seems like the young people are the, the highlight of our church. When visitors come, they always speak highly of the young people. They notice that. Yeah. Perhaps maybe you don't find that everywhere. A lot of young oh. people, you know. Oh, I know. You know. We're proud of our young people. Yeah. Which, they're the next church. That's right. The Lord tarry. That's right. But I know, growing up, that, you know, come seventh or eighth grade, kids, I had kids and myself stop going. Oh, yeah. I Perfect. appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. I guess that's it. Okay. I guess. <laughs>